Hi, Assalamualaikum everyone. I hope you're all having a lovely day today, wherever you guys are. I hope you're having a lovely time with your loved ones, your family, friends. So um, today we'll be making tandoori chicken pizza, and um, with this recipe, you can make um, two large 14-inch um, deep pan pizzas. Um, if you want to make smaller ones, you can make three out of this recipe. And um, yeah, I hope you guys like it. And um, just carry on to see how it goes guys also please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to our channel anyways carry on watching to see the recipe so the vegetables that i'm using for the toppings are three bell peppers the red yellow and green capsicums then i've cut some mushrooms tomatoes onions and i'm using some lemon zest also, I'm going to be putting some green olives, jalapenos and sweet corn and guys don't forget these are all toppings. I've then cut um, one whole chicken breast in small cubes and um, this is garlic for the sauce. So over here I'm using 520 grams of all-purpose flour and I'm just sieving that quickly. So guys, as I mentioned before, with this recipe um, you can make about two pizzas that are 14 inches deep pan. Um, if you want, you can also make three pizzas. Just divide the dough in three and um, make smaller ones. So after I've sieved that, I'm putting about half a teaspoon of salt in the dry mixture and just mixing it really well and then i have about 230 ml of lukewarm water guys make sure that the water is warm um, for the yeast to just grow in there i'm putting one tablespoon of sugar sugar is food for the yeast so it will really help it to expand and for the yeast, I'm using one tablespoon and also half a teaspoon of dried instant yeast. And then I'll be mixing it really well. So you need to make sure that the water becomes a bit milky. And um, then just leave it to rest, guys, for about five, six minutes. Trust me, it will rise. <laughs> the water will become a bit frothy and it will rise. So as you can see, after leaving it for a while, it's risen so much and um, that's how we want it to be. Then we pour our yeast inside the flour and we put three tablespoons of cold milk and three tablespoons of cooking oil. At this stage, I'm using a wooden spoon to mix because the mixture is very sticky at the moment. And um, guys, just make sure to knead the dough really, really well because um, you just want everything to mix well together. And um, then I take the dough out and I put some um, olive oil in. This is because I don't want the dough to stick to the bowl once I'm going to leave it to rise. It will just come out very easily. So I make sure that the dough is covered well with olive oil on both sides and um, after that's done I just need to put the cling film on. So I prefer to put this bowl of dough inside the microwave. Um, so what I do is I heat the microwave for about one minute without having anything inside it. And um, then what I do is I'll put this bowl inside the microwave and I'll put a uh, napkin over this. Um, I mean it's just really good because the microwave it's dark and it's warm inside so it gives the yeast and the dough a chance to rise. So now to prepare the sauce I'm putting about three tablespoons of olive oil and uh, one can of chopped tomato. As you can see it's quite liquidy at the moment I really want it to dry and um, just become a bit thick like a paste so i'm just putting some garlic in that's about 67 cloves of garlic one whole teaspoon of uh, garlic powder 
and um, that's one teaspoon of salt one teaspoon of chili flakes and um, about a half a teaspoon of chili powder as you can see I'm really trying to dry the sauce and um, just make it into a thick paste because if it's going to have a lot of liquid in it then our dough it's just going to become really soggy and we don't want that now I'm putting 1 4 teaspoon of sugar and 1 teaspoon of ginger powder 1 teaspoon of tandoori masala and um, a teaspoon of black pepper powder my cat <laughs> in the background okay well that's about two teaspoons of lemon zest guys lemon zest is so delicious in this i was actually supposed to be grating some ginger as well and i forgot to do that now to prepare the tandoori chicken i'm putting some olive oil and i'm adding the chicken breast that i've already cut into small cubes After it starts sizzling a little, I'll be adding half a teaspoon of ginger powder, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of chili flakes, half a teaspoon of chili powder, and um, half a teaspoon of turmeric. So uh, once I've mixed that, now I'm putting one teaspoon of black pepper, one teaspoon of tandoori masala. The tandoori masala is just going to give it a nice red color um, and it's really, really important that you put that in. Otherwise our chicken is just going to be a bit orange and yellow because of the haldi. So as you can see, it's pretty much fried and cooked but we want to reduce the liquid in this as well so we're just going to fry it really well until there is no liquid basically <laughs> and it's just done okay so we let it cool down before we put it on top of the pizza so now you can see that our dough has risen double in size and um, that's all thanks to the yeast and just look how easily the cling foam is coming off and um, how easily the dough comes out of the bowl.
thank you guys so much for watching our video we hope that you liked our uh, recipe anyways guys please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe um my brother came home so we had to prepare another pizza for him luckily we had enough dough and um, enough toppings anyways guys do remember us in your prayers take care look after yourselves allah fizz